What's good, everybody? Joey J. Bing here, checking in live, respectmyregion.com. Coming at you guys live from the 2023 MJ Unpacked Detroit. We're in the showroom floor. And I got a very special guest with me here today, Kevin Ford, VP of Sales from PAC. Let's go. What's going on? How you doing, bro? Being here with us, sir. Yes, sir. I've been with one of the legacy brands, man. You've, we've seen him in the trap. We've seen him in thousands of dispensaries. We've seen him in your hottest music videos. We've seen him in Rolling Loud. Yes, you have. It must be dope to work at Packwoods, man. Absolutely. It's an honor. It's an honor. You know, got a lot of respect for the brand. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, started in LA 2018. The way that I kind of like describing the story is that, you know, at that time, 2017, 2018, recreational cannabis kicked off in California. Yep. The pre roll market was like popping off because of the convenience factor of a pre roll product. What we saw was a lot of shake, a lot of trim, a lot of boof. Uh, so we knew that there was a, a market and there was a customer base that was excited about the convenience factor of a pre-roll product. Yeah. We kind of flipped it on its head. We wanted to speak to the aficionados, to the connoisseurs. We came out with our classic blunt, blunt which I got in my hand right here. Let's see this. Let's see this real quick. Look at this, you guys. A classic Packwoods blunt. Classic what, pack was blunt. what are we looking at here? What are we so you got at? two and a half grams of total weight. You're going to have two grams of obviously premium indoor source flour on the inside. You have 0.25 grams of keep on the outside, um, and then you're gonna have 0.25 grams of sauce on the inside. Wow. With the glass tin, uh, tip, uh, and then a hemp wrap, obviously. Um, you know, we have somebody out there in the Dominican Republic that's getting us that exact flavor, mouthfeel of a blunt, but you're getting it from with a, with, with a hemp wrap instead of tobacco. So that's really impressive. You know, for me, you know, we do a lot of our, you know, interviews and content and stories based on data, right? And yeah. so, you know, this journey for us, powered by trees, here today. Talk to me a little bit about love the plug. Love the plug. Talk to me a little bit about what, how you guys use data within that. It's like you have to have done R and D on the different flavors. Absolutely. I'm sure, there's lots of data out there surrounding papers and wraps already. Yeah. So, like, when you're going through the R and D process and figuring out this hemp wrap and the flavor or this or that, how, what, how does that even look? Yeah, I mean, look, it's a lot. Like we started off with our classic blunt as our sort of our flagship product. That we've diversified into a lot of other pre-roll products. So we have our heavies, which is basically our carbon copy of the blunt, but with rice paper. Yeah. So it's basically your big doink, right? Two and a half grams in a joint. We also have our Pacarillos, which is like I call like the blunt had triplets, right? Yeah. So they basically come in a multi-pack, which is going to be your 0.75 grams of, of three mini blunts. Pacarillos. The Pacarillos, yeah. yeah. Um, but now we're even doing vapes, right? We have two gram live resin vapes. Oh, here, come check these out. Yeah. So check out our, you know, and it's actually like right here, right? Yeah, a huge part of our um, of our revenue this year has been with our two gram live resin vapes. Um, it just shows you how like synonymous our brand is, and like being able to be ubiquitous across like different categories. That uh, represents quality. Yeah, it represents quality, right? So like we're making sure that everything, all of our inputs, our hardware, like our packaging, everything is going to be a little bit more high level. Uh, but going back to like the data and like really figuring out like where it's all about like making sure that we're staying on the cusp of like the different trends, whether it be the consumption methods or the infusion methods, right? So like with our heavies, we're making sure that we're doing like, not only are we infusing it, but we're doing, we're infusing a lot of our heavies with hash rosin, right? And so there's unlimited amounts of resources out there that tell you where and what types of products and what categories are making sense. Um, but a lot of it is like, we have to be the leaders, right? Like we, like we're the risk takers. Like we're the ones that like, we're listening to the streets, we're listening to the consumers, yeah. and then we're coming out with the ideas and then people are following suit. So like a lot of it is following the trends, but a lot of it is setting the trends, right? So it's, it's hard to set the trends, man. And, and, but at the same time, when, when that's what you've been doing, yeah. it's like, I'd say it's easy, but it becomes easier and easier. Absolutely. It becomes now, easier. for you personally, you've been smoking for a while. Yes. I know you've been a cannabis user for quite some time. What are some of your favorite products personally from the Packwood Vinyl? Uh, so. The classic blunts, like, uh, it's just celebratory, anxiety reliever, taste, potency. It does come ready to play. It comes ready to play. Uh, we got some really cool strains here in Michigan. We got an 8-mile strain. We have a, we have our AK-47. Um, our El Chapo is one of my favorite strains that we actually have in New York. Um, our New York City, not to, like, divert from, like, attention of Michigan market, but our New York City sa Super Sour Diesel, like, we're looking to get some of the original super sour diesel cuts that back in like up, uh, you know, upstate New York, not upstate, like uptown. Like, so, um, but Michigan wise, I mean, look, like we're partnered with one of the most premier high level uh, licensees in the state of Michigan. I would argue some of the better, more savvy uh, processors in the country with exclusive in Ann Arbor, Michigan. 
Um, and they've been a great partner of ours, making sure that any sort of crazy idea, crazy product line that we have, they're able to fulfill that. Uh, one of those product lines, which has been what I've been smoking on a lot lately, are our mini bursts. Okay. And so these are going to be 5.5 gram uh, mini joints. The cool part about these, you have a terpene bubble, basically like a Camel Crush cigarette where you pop it and it's like a menthol blast of the cigarette. Now we have a terpene bubble that's going to be complementing the strain and it's in the crutch. So you squeeze the bubble in the crutch and now you have like this infusion of like this terpene flavors in your mini joint. So yeah, it's pretty cool. It's been taken off in Nevada, Oklahoma, Colorado, there's some of the bigger states, uh, but Michigan's getting these soon. That's very exciting. Yeah. Backwood leading the way, setting the trends, really, really innovative with the products they always have been and doing some exciting things expansion wise. Do you have any RMR exclusives you can share with the people? What, what can people expect from Packwood's Cone of that you can share? Cool, coming soon. Um, so our glass cone joints is something that's coming around the country. This is gonna be something that we typically are only doing hand rolled products is really what we typically do. Uh, but to stay competitive on the cusp of like um, the cone style pre-rolls, we have a glass cone joint, which okay. like your tip and your filter is glass. Um, and so be on the lookout for what we call glows. Uh, basically, glass and cone had a baby. Glass cone joints. Glass and cones had a baby. Glones. Hot was LA, Michigan, New York, Nevada, and more states to come. I'm here with Kevin Ford, BPS Sales of Pack was Los Angeles. We're at MGM Pack 2023, Detroit. We'll see you guys in the next one. Love y'all. Peace. Peace. Appreciate you, bro. Yes, sir. That was all. Love it.